Hello and welcome to this screencast which explains how to calculate dilutions. There are many reasons why it can be necessary to quantitatively dilute solutions, in other words, to dilute them to an accurately known concentration. For example, you might need to prepare a range of solutions of different concentrations to carry out a calibration. You'll need to calculate what volume of the concentrated solution to use and how much solvent to add to make the desired dilution. The equation to calculate this is shown here. The concentration of the stock solution times the volume of the stock solution is equal to the concentration of the diluted solution times the volume of the diluted solution. You need to calculate the volume of stock solution to measure out. The other terms are known. You'll know the concentration of the stock solution. You may even have made it yourself. The concentration of the diluted solution is what you're trying to make and the volume of the diluted solution is just the volume of the flask in which you're making it up. The equation can be rearranged to get volume of the stock solution on one side, as this is what you're trying to calculate. You can then calculate the volume of stock solution to use. To actually make the solution, you would add this volume of stock solution to the flask and make it up to the mark with solvent. Here's a worked example. You're given a stock solution of concentration 1000 ppm and are asked what volume of stock solution is necessary to prepare 10 millilitres of a 250 ppm solution. Using the rearranged equation from the previous slide, we can fill in the information we know. The answer calculates to 2.5 mils of stock solution, so you would add 2.5 mils of stock solution to the flask and make it up to the 10 mils mark with solvent. Thanks for watching and look out for more resources coming soon on the Analytical Science Tutor channel.